Yerevan, Yer Van, Armenian, Erevan Jvn listen, sometimes spelled Erevan is the capital and largest city of Armenia as well as one of the world's oldest continuously inhabited cities. Situated along the Harazdan River, Yerevan is the administrative, cultural, and industrial center of the country. It has been the capital since 1918, the 14th in the history of Armenia and the 7th located in or around the Ararat Plain. The city also serves as the seat of the Araration Pontifical Diocese, the largest diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church and one of the oldest dioceses in the world. The history of Yerevan dates back to the 8th century BC, with the founding of the fortress of Erebuni in 782 BC by King Argashti I at the western extreme of the Ararat Plain. Erebuni was designed as a great administrative and religious center, a fully royal capital. By the late ancient Armenian kingdom, new capital cities were established and Yerevan declined in importance. Under Iranian and Russian rule, it was the center of the Erevan Khanate from 1736 to 1828 and the Erevan Governorate from 1850 to 1917, respectively. After World War I, Yerevan became the capital of the First Republic of Armenia as thousands of survivors of the Armenian Genocide in the Ottoman Empire arrived in the area. The city expanded rapidly during the 20th century as Armenia became part of the Soviet Union. In a few decades, Yerevan was transformed from a provincial town within the Russian Empire to Armenia's principal cultural, artistic, and industrial center, as well as becoming the seat of national government. With the growth of the Armenian economy, Yerevan has undergone major transformation. Much construction has been done throughout the city since the early 2000s, and retail outlets such as restaurants, shops, and street cafes, which were rare during Soviet times, have multiplied. As of 2011, the population of Yerevan was 1,060,138, just over 35% of the Republic of Armenia's total population. According to the official estimate of 2016, the current population of the city is 1,073,700. Yerevan was named the 2012 World Book Capital by UNESCO. Yerevan is an associate member of Eurocities. Of the notable landmarks of Yerevan, Erebuni Fortress is considered to be the birthplace of the city. The Katahyk Saranovor Church is the oldest surviving church of Yerevan, and St. Gregory Cathedral is the largest Armenian cathedral in the world. Cesarnakabert is the official memorial to the victims of the Armenian Genocide, and several opera houses, theatres, museums, libraries, and other cultural institutions. Yerevan Opera Theatre is the main spectacle hall of the Armenian capital. The National Gallery of Armenia is the largest art museum in the Republic of Armenia and shares a building with the History Museum of Armenia, and the Matenadaran Repository contains one of the largest depositories of ancient books and manuscripts in the world. Etymology <inaudible> 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 One theory regarding the origin of Yerevan's name is the city was named after the Armenian king, Yervand Orontes IV, the last leader of the Orontid dynasty, and founder of the city of Yervandishat. However, it is likely that the city's name is derived from the Urartian military fortress of Erebuni, Erebuni which was founded on the territory of modern-day Yerevan in 782 BC by Argashti I as elements of the Urartian language blended with that of the Armenian one. The name eventually evolved into Yerevan Erebuni, Topic. Erevani Erevan equals Yerevan. Scholar Margaret Israelian notes these changes when comparing inscriptions found on two cuneiform tablets at Erebuni. The transcription of the second cuneiform bu original emphasis of the word was very essential in our interpretation as it is the Arordian b that has been shifted to the Armenian v b greater than v. The original writing of the inscription read er -bu -ni, therefore the prominent Armenianologist Orientalist Professor. G. A. Gapantsan justly objected, remarking that the Urartu B changed to V at the beginning of the word biani, van, or between two vowels ebani greater than avan, zabaha, javik. In other words B was placed between two vowels. The true pronunciation of the fortress city was apparently Arabuni. Early Christian Armenian chroniclers attributed the origin of the name Yerevan to a derivation from an expression exclaimed by Noah, in Armenian. While looking in the direction of Yerevan, after the ark had landed on Mount Ararat and the flood waters had receded, Noah is believed to have exclaimed, Yerevats! It appeared! 
In the late medieval and early modern periods, when Yerevan was under Turkic and later Persian rule, the city was known in Persian as Iraven Persian. This name is still widely used by Azerbaijanis Azerbaijani, Irvin. The city was officially known as Erevan Russian, Erevan under Russian rule during the 19th and early 20th centuries. The city was renamed back to Yerevan Erevan in 1936. Up until the mid-1970s the city's name was spelled Erevan, more often than Yerevan, in English sources. Symbols The principal symbol of Yerevan is Mount Ararat, which is visible from any area in the capital. The seal of the city is a crowned lion on a pedestal with the inscripted in the upper part. The emblem is a rectangular shield with a blue border. On the 27th of September 2004, Yerevan adopted an anthem, Arabuni Yerevan, written by Parur Sevik and composed by Edgar Havhanizian. It was selected in a competition for a new anthem and new flag that would best represent the city. The chosen flag has a white background with the city's seal in the middle, surrounded by 12 small red triangles that symbolize the 12 historic capitals of Armenia. The flag includes the three colors of the Armenian national flag. The lion is portrayed on the orange background with blue edging. Topic: History. Topic: Pre-history and pre-classical era. The territory of Yerevan has been inhabited since approximately the second half of the 4th millennium BC. The southern part of the city currently known as Shengavit has been populated since at least 3200 BC, during the period of Kura Araxas culture of the Early Bronze Age. The first excavations at the Shengavit historical site was conducted between 1936 and 1938 under the guidance of archaeologist Yevgeny Baberdian. After two decades, archaeologist Sandro Sardarian resumed the excavations starting from 1958 until 1983. The third phase of the excavations started in 2000, under the guidance of archaeologist Hakob Samanyan. In 2009, Samanyan was joined by Professor Mitchell S. Rothman from the Whittiner University of Pennsylvania. Together they conducted three series of excavations in 2009, 2010, and 2012 respectively. During the process, a full stratigraphic column to bedrock was reached, showing there to be eight or nine distinct stratigraphic levels. These levels cover a time between 3200 BC and 2500 BC. Evidences of later use of the site, possibly until 2200 BC, were also found. The excavation process revealed a series of large round buildings with square adjoining rooms and minor round buildings. A series of ritual installations was discovered in 2010 and 2012. Topic: <inaudible> Arabuni. The ancient kingdom of Urartu was formed in the 9th century BC in the basin of Lake Van of the Armenian highland, including the territory of modern-day Yerevan. King Arame was the founder of the kingdom that was one of the most developed states of its age. Archaeological evidence, such as a cuneiform inscription, indicates that the Urartian military fortress of Arabuni, Arabuni was founded in 782 BC by the orders of King Argishti I at the site of modern-day Yerevan, to serve as a fort and citadel guarding against attacks from the North Caucasus. Yerevan, as mentioned, is considered one of the oldest cities in the world. The cuneiform inscription found at Arabuni Fortress reads, by the greatness of the god Kaldi, Argishti, son of Manua, built this mighty stronghold and proclaimed it Arabuni for the glory of Bayanili Urartu and to instill fear among the king's enemies. Argishti says, The land was a desert, before the great works I accomplished upon it. By the greatness of Kaldi, Argishti, son of Manua, is a mighty king, king of Bayanili, and ruler of Tushpa. Van. During the height of the Urartian power, irrigation canals and artificial reservoirs were built in Arabuni and its surrounding territories. In the mid-7th century BC, the city of Teishabani was built by Rusa II of Urartu, around 7 kilometres west of Arabuni fortress. It was fortified on a hill currently known as Karmir Blur within Shengavit district of Yerevan to protect the eastern borders of Urartu from the barbaric Cimmerians and Scythians. 
During excavations, the remains of a governor's palace that contained 120 rooms spreading across more than 40,000 square meters (10 acres) was found, along with a citadel dedicated to the Urartian god Teshiba. The construction of the city of Teshebani, as well as the palace and the citadel, was completed by the end of the 7th century BC, during the reign of Rusa III. However, Teshebani was destroyed by an alliance of Medes and the Scythians in 585 BC. Median and Achaemenid rules In 590 BC, following the fall of the Kingdom of Urartu in the hands of the Iranian Medes, Arabuni along with the Armenian highland became part of the Median Empire. However, in 550 BC, the Median Empire was conquered by Cyrus the Great, and Arabuni became part of the Achaemenid Empire. Between 522 BC and 331 BC, Arabuni was one of the main centers of the Satrapy of Armenia, a region controlled by the Orontid dynasty as one of the satrapies of the Achaemenid Empire. The Satrapy of Armenia was divided into two parts, the northern part and the southern part, with the cities of Arabuni and Tushpa as their centers, respectively. Coins issued in 478 BC along with many other items found in the Arabuni fortress, reveal the importance of Arabuni as a major center for trade under Achaemenid rule. After two centuries under Achaemenid rule, Arabuni has been gradually turned into a city of Persian image and culture. <laughs> Ancient Kingdom of Armenia During the victorious period of Alexander the Great, and following the decline of the Achaemenid Empire, the Orontid rulers of the Armenian satrapy achieved independence as a result of the Battle of Gagamela in 331 BC, founding the Kingdom of Armenia. With the establishment of new cities such as Armavir, Zerhaven, Bagaran and Yervandashat, the importance of Arabuni had gradually declined. With the rise of the Artaxiad dynasty of Armenia who seized power in 189 BC, the Kingdom of Armenia greatly expanded to include major territories of Asia Minor, Atropatene, Iberia, Phoenicia and Syria. The Artaxiads considered Arabuni and Tushpa as cities of Persian heritage. Consequently, new cities and commercial centers were built by kings Artaxias I, Artavasdas I and Tigranes the Great. Thus, with the dominance of cities such as Artaxata and Tigranocherta, Arabuni had significantly lost its importance as a central city. Under the rule of the Arsacid dynasty of Armenia 54 AD, many other cities around Arabuni including Vagarshapat and Dvin flourished. Consequently, Arabuni was completely neutralized, losing its role as an economic and strategic center of Armenia. During the period of the Arsacid kings, Arabuni was only recorded in a Manichaean text of the 3rd century, where it is mentioned that one of the disciples of the prophet Mani founded a Manichaean community near the Christian community in Arabuni. According to Ashkaritsuths, Arabuni was part of the Kotake Canton, Kotake Gavar Kotake Gavar, not to be confused with the current Kotake province of Ararat province, within Armenia Major. Armenia became a Christian nation in the early 4th century, during the reign of the Arsacid king Tiridates III. Sasanian period Following the partition of Armenia by the Byzantine and Sasanian empires in 387 and in 428, Arabuni and the entire territory of eastern Armenia came under the rule of Sasanian Persia. The Armenian territories formed the province of Persian Armenia within the Sasanian Empire. Due to the diminished role of Arabuni, as well as the absence of proper historical data, much of the city's history under the Sasanian rule is unknown. The Katahike Saranavor Church in Avon, built between 595 and 602 during Sasanian rule and partly damaged during the 1679 earthquake, is the oldest surviving church within modern Yerevan city limits. The province of Persian Armenia also known as Persarmenia lasted until 646, when the province was dissolved with the Muslim conquest of Persia. <inaudible> Arab Islamic invasion In 658 AD, at the height of the Arab Islamic invasions, Arabuni Yerevan was conquered during the Muslim conquest of Persia, as it was part of Persian-ruled Armenia. The city became part of the Emirate of Armenia under the Umayyad Caliphate. The city of Dvin was the center of the newly created emirate. 
Starting from this period, as a result of the developing trade activities with the Arabs, the Armenian territories had gained strategic importance as a crossroads for the Arab caravan routes passing between Europe and India through the Arab-controlled Ararat plain of Armenia. Most probably, Arabuni has become known as Yerevan since at least the 7th century AD. <laughs> Bagratid Armenia After two centuries of Islamic rule over Armenia, the Bagratid prince Ashat I of Armenia led the revolution against the Abbasid Caliphate. Ashat I liberated Yerevan in 850, and was recognized as the Prince of Princes of Armenia by the Abbasid Caliph al mustayan in 862. Ashat was later crowned King of Armenia through the consent of Caliph al mutamid in 885. During the rule of the Bagratuni dynasty of Armenia between 885 and 1045, Yerevan was relatively a secure part of the kingdom before falling to the Byzantines. However, Yerevan did not have any strategic role during the reign of the Bagratids, who developed many other cities of Ararat, such as Shirakovan, Dvin, and Ani. <laughs> Seljuk period, Zakarid Armenia and Mongol rule After a brief Byzantine rule over Armenia between 1045 and 1064, the invading Seljuks led by Tural and later by his successor Alp Arslan ruled over the entire region, including Yerevan. However, with the establishment of the Zakarid Principality of Armenia in 1201 under the Georgian Protectorate, the Armenian territories of Yerevan and Lori had significantly grown. After the Mongols captured Ani in 1236, Armenia turned into a Mongol protectorate as part of the Ilkhanate, and the Zakarids became vassals to the Mongols. After the fall of the Ilkhanate in the mid-14th century, the Zakarid princes ruled over Lori, Shirak and Ararat plain until 1360 when they fell to the invading Turkic tribes. A.Q. Koyunlu and Kara Koyunlu tribes During the last quarter of the 14th century, the Aq Koyunlu Sunni Oghuz Turkic tribe took over Armenia, including Yerevan. In 1400, Timur invaded Armenia and Georgia, and captured more than 60,000 of the survived local people as slaves. Many districts including Yerevan were depopulated. In 1410, Armenia fell under the control of the Kara Koyunlu Shia Oghuz Turkic tribe. According to the Armenian historian Thomas of Metsov, although the Kara Koyunlu levied heavy taxes against the Armenians, the early years of their rule were relatively peaceful and some reconstruction of towns took place. The Kara Koyunlus made Yerevan the center of the newly formed Chukursad administrative territory. The territory was named after a Turkic leader known as Amir Saad. However, this peaceful period was shattered with the rise of Kara Iskander between 1420 and 1436, who reportedly made Armenia a desert and subjected it to devastation and plunder, to slaughter, and captivity. The wars of Iskander and his eventual defeat against the Timurids invited further destruction in Armenia, as many more Armenians were taken captive and sold into slavery, and the land was subjected to outright pillaging, forcing many of them to leave the region. Following the fall of the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia in 1375, the seat of the Armenian Church was transferred from Sis back to Vagarshapat near Yerevan in 1441. Thus, Yerevan became the main economic, cultural, and administrative center in Armenia. Topic. Iranian rule In 1501–02, most of the eastern Armenian territories including Yerevan were swiftly conquered by the emerging Safavid dynasty of Iran led by Shah Ismail I. Soon after in 1502, Yerevan became the center of the Erevan Beglerbegi, a new administrative territory of Iran formed by the Safavids. For the following three centuries, it remained, with brief intermissions, under the Iranian rule. Due to its strategic significance, Yerevan known as Revan by the Ottomans was initially often fought over, and passed back and forth, between the dominion of the rivaling Iranian and Ottoman Empire, until it permanently became controlled by the Safavids. In 1555, Iran had secured its legitimate possession over Yerevan with the Ottomans through the Treaty of Amasya. In 1582-1583, the Ottomans led by Sirdar Farhad Pasha took brief control over Yerevan. Farhad Pasha managed to build the Erevan fortress on the ruins of 1,000 years old ancient Armenian fortress, on the shores of Harazdan River. 
However, Ottoman control ended in 1604 when the Persians regained Yerevan as a result of First Ottoman Safavid War. Shah Abbas I of Persia who ruled between 1588 and 1629, ordered the deportation of hundreds of thousands of Armenians including citizens from Yerevan to mainland Persia. As a consequence, Yerevan significantly lost its Armenian population who had declined to 20%, while Muslims including Persians, Turks, Kurds and Tatars gained dominance with around 80% of the city's population. Muslims were either sedentary, semi-sedentary, or nomadic. Armenians mainly occupied the Khand neighborhood of Yerevan and the rural suburbs around the city. However, the Armenians dominated over various professions and trade in the area and were of great economic significance to the Persian administration. During the Second Ottoman Safavid War, Ottoman troops under the command of Sultan Murad IV conquered the city on August 8, 1635. Returning in triumph to Constantinople, he opened the Yerevan Kiosk Revan Koska in Topkapi Palace in 1636. However, Iranian troops under commanded by Shah Safi retook Yerevan on April 1, 1636. As a result of the Treaty of Zuhab in 1639, the Iranians reconfirmed their control over eastern Armenia, including Yerevan. On 7 June 1679, a devastating earthquake raised the city to the ground. In 1724, the Erevan fortress was besieged by the Ottoman army. After a period of resistance, the fortress fell to the Turks. As a result of the Ottoman invasion, the Erevan Beglerbegi of the Safavids was dissolved. Following a brief period of Ottoman rule over eastern Armenia between 1724 and 1736, and as a result of the fall of the Safavid dynasty in 1736, Yerevan along with the adjacent territories became part of the newly formed administrative territory of Erevan Khanate under the Afsharid dynasty of Iran, which encompassed an area of 15,000 square kilometers 5, square miles. The Afsharids controlled eastern Armenia from the mid-1730s until the 1790s. Following the fall of the Afsharids, the Qajar dynasty of Iran took control of eastern Armenia until 1828, when the region was conquered by the Russian Empire after their victory over the Qajars that resulted in the Treaty of Turkmenche of 1828. Topic. Russian rule During the Second Russo-Persian War of the 19th century, the Russo-Persian War of 1826–28, Yerevan was captured by Russian troops under General Ivan Paskovich on 1 October 1827. It was formally ceded by the Iranians in 1828, following the Treaty of Turkmenche. After three centuries of Iranian occupation, Yerevan along with the rest of eastern Armenia designated as the Armenian Oblast became part of the Russian Empire, a period that would last until the collapse of the empire in 1917. The Russians sponsored the resettlement process of the Armenian population from Persia and Turkey. Due to the resettlement, the percentage of the Armenian population of Yerevan increased from 28% to 53.8%. The resettlement was intended to create Russian power bridgehead in the Middle East. In 1829, Armenian repatriates from Persia were resettled in the city and a new quarter was built. Yerevan served as the seat of the newly formed Armenian Oblast between 1828 and 1840. By the time of Nicholas I's visit in 1837, Yerevan had become an Uyezd. In 1840, the Armenian Oblast was dissolved and its territory incorporated into a new larger province, the Georgia Imerisha Governorate. In 1850 the territory of the former oblast was reorganized into the Erevan Governorate, covering an area of 28,000 square kilometers 11,000 square miles. Yerevan was the center of the newly established governorate. At that period, Yerevan was a small town with narrow roads and alleys, including the central quarter of Shahar, the Gantar commercial center, and the residential neighborhoods of Khand, Dzorogya, Nork and Shenta. During the 1840s and the 1850s, many schools were opened in the city. However, the first major plan of Yerevan was adopted in 1856, during which, St. Ripsim and St. Guyan Women's Colleges were founded and the English Park was opened. In 1863, the Astafian Street was redeveloped and opened. In 1874, Zachariah Gavorkian opened Yerevan's first printing house, while the first theatre opened its doors in 1879. 
On October 1, 1879, Yerevan was granted the status of a city through a decree issued by Alexander II of Russia. In 1881, the Yerevan Teachers Seminary and the Yerevan Brewery were opened, followed by the Terayans Wine and Brandy Factory in 1887. Other factories for alcoholic beverages and mineral water were opened during the 1890s. The monumental Church of St. Gregory the Illuminator was opened in 1900. Electricity and telephone lines were introduced to the city in 1907 and 1913 respectively. In general, Yerevan had rapidly grown under the Russian rule, both economically and politically. Old buildings were torn down and new buildings of European style were erected instead. At the beginning of the 20th century, Yerevan city's population was over 29,000. In 1902, a railway line linked Yerevan with Alexandropol, Tiflis and Julfa. In the same year, Yerevan's first public library was opened. In 1905, the grandnephew of Napoleon I, Prince Louis-Joseph Jérôme Napoleon (1864–1932), was appointed as governor of Yerevan province. In 1913, for the first time in the city, a telephone line with 80 subscribers became operational. Yerevan served as the center of the governorate until 1917, when Erevan governorate was dissolved with the collapse of the Russian Empire. Topic. Brief independence At the beginning of the 20th century, Yerevan was a small city with a population of 30,000. In 1917, the Russian Empire ended with the October Revolution. In the aftermath, Armenian, Georgian and Muslim leaders of Transcaucasia united to form the Transcaucasian Federation and proclaimed Transcaucasia's secession. The Federation, however, was short-lived. After gaining control over Alexandropol, the Turkish army was advancing towards the south and east to eliminate the center of Armenian resistance based in Yerevan. On May 21, 1918, the Turks started their campaign moving towards Yerevan via Sardarabad. Catholicos Gavorg V ordered that church bells peal for six days as Armenians from all walks of life, peasants, poets, blacksmiths, and even the clergymen, rallied to form organized military units. Civilians, including children, aided in the effort as well, as "...carts drawn by oxen, water buffalo, and cows jammed the roads bringing food, provisions, ammunition, and volunteers from the vicinity." of Yerevan. By the end of May 1918, Armenians were able to defeat the Turkish army in the battles of Sardarabad, Abarin and Karakalisa. Thus, on 28 May 1918, the Dashnik leader Aram Manukian declared the independence of Armenia. Subsequently, Yerevan became the capital and the center of the newly founded Republic of Armenia, although the members of the Armenian National Council were yet to stay in Tiflis until their arrival in Yerevan to form the government in the summer of the same year. Armenia became a parliamentary republic with four administrative divisions. The capital Yerevan was part of the Araration province. At the time, Yerevan received more than 75,000 refugees from western Armenia, who escaped the massacres perpetrated by the Ottoman Turks during the Armenian Genocide. On 26 May 1919, the government passed a law to open the Yerevan State University, which was located on the main Astafayan street of Yerevan. After the signing of the Treaty of Sevres in 1920, Armenia was granted formal international recognition. The United States, as well as many South American countries, officially opened diplomatic channels with the government of independent Armenia. Yerevan had also opened representatives in Great Britain, Italy, Germany, Serbia, Greece, Iran and Japan. However, after the short period of independence, Yerevan fell to the Bolsheviks, and Armenia was incorporated into the Soviet Union on 2 December 1920. Although nationalist forces managed to retake the city in February 1921 and successfully released all the imprisoned political and military figures, the city's nationalist elite were once again defeated by the Soviet forces on 2 April 1921. <inaudible> <inaudible> Soviet rule The Red Soviet Army invaded Armenia on 29 November 1920 from the northeast. On 2 December 1920, Yerevan along with the other territories of the Republic of Armenia, became part of the Soviet Union, known as the Armenian Soviet Socialist Republic. 
However, the Armenian SSR formed the Transcaucasian SFSR (TSFSR) together with the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic and the Azerbaijan Soviet Socialist Republic between 1922 and 1936. Under the Soviet rule, Yerevan became the first among the cities in the Soviet Union for which a general plan was developed. The General Plan of Yerevan, developed by the academician Alexander Tamanian, was approved in 1924. It was initially designed for a population of 150,000. The city was quickly transformed into a modern industrial metropolis of over one million people. New educational, scientific and cultural institutions were founded as well. Tamanian incorporated national traditions with contemporary urban construction. His design presented a radial circular arrangement that overlaid the existing city and incorporated much of its existing street plan. As a result, many historic buildings were demolished, including churches, mosques, the Persian fortress, baths, bazaars and caravanserais. Many of the districts around central Yerevan were named after former Armenian communities that were destroyed by the Ottoman Turks during the Armenian Genocide. The districts of Arabkir, Malaysia Sebastia and Nork Marish, for example, were named after the towns Arabkir, Malatya, Sebastia, and Marish, respectively. After the end of World War II, German POWs were used to help in the construction of new buildings and structures, such as the Kievian Bridge. Within the years, the central Kentron district has become the most developed area in Yerevan, something that created a significant gap compared with other districts in the city. Most of the educational, cultural and scientific institutions were centered in the Kentron district. In 1965, during the commemorations of the 50th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, Yerevan was the location of a demonstration, the first such demonstration in the Soviet Union, to demand recognition of the genocide by the Soviet authorities. In 1968, the city's 2750th anniversary was commemorated. Yerevan played a key role in the Armenian National Democratic Movement that emerged during the Gorbachev era of the 1980s. The reforms of Glasnost and Perestroika opened questions on issues such as the status of Nagorno-Karabakh, the environment, Russification, corruption, democracy, and eventually independence. At the beginning of 1988, nearly one million Armenians from several regions of Armenia engaged in demonstrations concerning these subjects, centered in the city's theater square, currently Freedom Square. Topic: Post-independence. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Yerevan became the capital of the Republic of Armenia on 21 September 1991. Maintaining supplies of gas and electricity proved difficult, constant electricity was not restored until 1996 amidst the chaos of the badly instigated and planned transition to a market-based economy. Since 2000, central Yerevan has been transformed into a vast construction site, with cranes erected all over the Kentron district. Officially, the scores of multi-storied buildings are part of large-scale urban planning projects. Roughly $1.8 billion was spent on such construction in 2006, according to the National Statistical Service. Prices for downtown apartments have increased by about 10 times during the first decade of the 21st century. Many new streets and avenues were opened, such as the Argashti Street, Italy Street, Saralange Avenue, Monte Melconian Avenue, and the Northern Avenue. However, as a result of this construction boom, the majority of the historic buildings located on the central Aram Street, were either entirely destroyed or transformed into modern residential buildings through the construction of additional floors. Only a few structures were preserved, mainly in the portion that extends between Abovian Street and Mashdots Avenue. The first major post-independence protest in Yerevan took place in September 1996, after the announcement of incumbent Levon Ter Petrosian's victory in the presidential election. Major opposition parties of the time, consolidated around the former Karabakh committee member and former Prime Minister Vazgan Manukyan, organized mass demonstrations between 23 and 25 September, claiming electoral fraud by Ter Petrosian. An estimated of 200,000 people gathered in the Freedom Square to protest the election results. After a series of riot and violent protests around the Parliament building on 25 September, the government sent tanks and troops to Yerevan to enforce the ban on rallies and demonstrations on the following day. 
Prime Minister Vazgen Sarkisyan and Minister of National Security Serge Sarkisyan announced on the public television of Armenia that their respective agencies have prevented an attempted coup d'état. In February 2008, unrest in the capital between the authorities and opposition demonstrators led by ex-president Levon Terpetrosian took place after the 2008 Armenian presidential election. The events resulted in 10 deaths and a subsequent 20-day state of emergency declared by President Robert Kacharyan. In July 2016, a group of armed men calling themselves the Daredevils of Sassoon Armenian, Sasna Kur Sasna Tsrrer stormed a police station in Erebuni district of Yerevan, taking several hostages, demanding the release of opposition leader Juror Sefilian and the resignation of President Serge Sarkisyan. Three policemen were killed as a result of the attack. Many anti-government protesters held rallies in solidarity with the gunmen. However, after two weeks of negotiations, the crisis ended and the gunmen surrendered. Geography Topography and cityscape Yerevan has an average height of 990 meters (3248.03 feet) with a minimum of 865 meters (2837.93 feet) and a maximum of 1390 meters (4560.37 feet) above sea level. It is located onto the edge of the Harazdan River, northeast of the Ararat Plain (Ararat Valley), to the center west of the country. The upper part of the city is surrounded with mountains on three sides while it descends to the banks of the river Harazdan at the south. The Harazdan divides Yerevan into two parts through a picturesque canyon. Historically, the city is situated at the heart of the Armenian highland, in Kotek Canton Armenian, Kotek Gavar Kotek Gavar, not to be confused with the current Kotek province of Ararat province, within Armenia Major. As the capital of Armenia, Yerevan is not part of any Mars province. Instead, it is bordered with the following provinces, Kotek from the north and the east, Ararat from the south and the southwest, Armavir from the west and Aragatsotan from the northwest. The Arabuni State Reserve formed in 1981, is located around 8 km southeast of the city center within the Arabuni district of the city. At a height between 1300 and 1450 meters above sea level, the reserve occupies an area of 120 hectares, mainly consisted of semi-deserted mountain steppe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Yerevan features a continental influenced steppe climate, Köppen climate classification, BSK or cold semi-arid climate with long, hot, dry summers and short, but cold and snowy winters. This is attributed to Yerevan being on a plain surrounded by mountains and to its distance from the sea and its effects. The summers are usually very hot with the temperature in August reaching up to 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and winters generally carry snowfall and freezing temperatures with January often being as cold as minus 15 degrees Celsius 5 degrees Fahrenheit and lower. The amount of precipitation is small, amounting annually to about 318 mm (12.5 in). Yerevan experiences an average of 2700 sunlight hours per year. Temperature regime in Yerevan is close to the southern Midwest cities such as Kansas City, Missouri, Detroit, Michigan, and Omaha, Nebraska, though Yerevan is much drier. In 2018, Yerevan had its warmest February, March, and July since records began in 1885 with a reading of 42.4 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit on 12 July 2018, as another sign of increasing hot extremes in a warming world. Among European capital cities Yerevan has highest difference between average summer and winter December to February temperatures. Architecture The Yerevan TV Tower is the tallest structure in the city, and one of the tallest structures in the Transcaucasian region. The Republic Square, the Yerevan Opera Theatre, and the Yerevan Cascade are among the main landmarks at the center of Yerevan, mainly developed based on the original design of the academician Alexander Tamanian, and the revised plan of architect Jim Tarosian. A major redevelopment process has been launched in Yerevan since 2000. As a result, many historic structures have been demolished and replaced with new buildings. 
This urban renewal plan has been met with opposition and criticism from some residents, as the projects destroy historic buildings dating back to the period of the Russian Empire, and often leave residents homeless. Downtown houses deemed too small are increasingly demolished and replaced by high-rise buildings. The St. Gregory Cathedral, the new building of Yerevan City Council, the new section of Matenadaran Institute, the new terminal of Zavartnots International Airport, the Kafasian Center for the Arts at the Cascade, the Northern Avenue, and the new government complex of ministries are among the major construction projects fulfilled during the first two decades of the 21st century. Aram Street of Old Yerevan and the newly built Northern Avenue are respectively among the notable examples featuring the traditional and modern architectural characteristics of Yerevan. As of May 2017, Yerevan is home to 4,883 residential apartment buildings, and 65,199 street lamps installed on 39,799 street light posts, covering a total length of 1,514 km. The city has 1,080 streets with a total length of 750 km. Parks Yerevan is a densely built city but still offers several public parks throughout its districts, graced with mid-sized green gardens. The public park of Arabuni district along with its artificial lake is the oldest garden in the city. Occupying an area of 17 hectares, the origins of the park and the artificial lake date back to the period of King Argashti I of Urartu during the 8th century BC. In 2011, the garden was entirely remodeled and named as Lyon Park, to become a symbol of the partnership between the cities of Lyon and Yerevan. The Lovers Park on Marshall Bagramian Avenue and the English Park at the center of the city, dating back to the 18th and 19th centuries respectively, are among the most popular parks for the Yerevancies. The Yerevan Botanical Garden opened in 1935, the Victory Park formed in the 1950s and the Circular Park are among the largest green spaces of the city. Formed in the 1960s, the Yerevan Opera Garden along with its artificial Swan Lake is also among the favorite green spaces of the city. The lake is converted into an ice skating arena during winters. The Yerevan Lake is an artificial reservoir opened in 1967 on Harazdan Riverbed at the south of the city center, with a surface of 0.65 square kilometers (0.25 square miles). Each administrative district of Yerevan has its own public park, such as the Buenos Aires Park and Tumanyan Park in Ajapnyak, Komitas Park in Shengavit, Vahan Zatikian Park in Malaysia Sebastia, David Anhat Park in Kanakar Zaitun, the Family Park in Avon, and Fritjof Nansen Park in Nor Nork. <laughs> Politics and government Capital <laughs> 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 Yerevan has been the capital of Armenia since the independence of the First Republic in 1918. Situated in the Ararat Plain, the historic lands of Armenia, it served as the best logical choice for capital of the Young Republic at the time. When Armenia became a republic of the Soviet Union, Yerevan remained as capital and accommodated all the political and diplomatic institutions in the republic. In 1991 with the independence of Armenia, Yerevan continued with its status as the political and cultural center of the country, being home to all the national institutions, the government house, the national assembly, the presidential palace, the central bank, the constitutional court, all ministries, judicial bodies and other government organizations. Municipality <inaudible> <inaudible> Yerevan received the status of a city on October 1, 1879, upon a decree issued by Tsar Alexander II of Russia. The first city council formed was headed by Hovenis Gorganyan who became the first mayor of Yerevan. The Constitution of the Republic of Armenia adopted on 5 July 1995, granted Yerevan the status of Amars province. Therefore, Yerevan functions similarly to the provinces of Armenia with a few specifications. The administrative authority of Yerevan is thus represented by the mayor, appointed by the president who can remove him at any moment upon the recommendation of the prime minister, alongside a group of four deputy mayors heading eleven ministries of which financial, transport, urban development etc. The Yerevan City Council, regrouping the heads of community districts under the authority of the mayor. 12. Community districts 
with each having its own leader and their elected councils. Yerevan has a principal city hall and 12 deputy mayors of districts. In the modified constitution of the 27th of November 2005, Yerevan city was turned into a community. Hamaink, since, the constitution declares that this community has to be led by a mayor, elected directly or indirectly, and that the city needs to be governed by a specific law. The first election of the Yerevan City Council took place in 2009 and won by the ruling Republican Party of Armenia. In addition to the National Police and Road Police, Yerevan has its own municipal police. All three bodies cooperate to maintain law in the city. Administrative districts Yerevan is divided into 12 administrative districts Varkakan Surgeon Varkakan Surgeon each with an elected leader the total area of the 12 districts of Yerevan is 223 square kilometers 86 square miles topic demographics Originally a small town, Yerevan became the capital of Armenia and a large city with over one million inhabitants. Until the fall of the Soviet Union, the majority of the population of Yerevan were Armenians with minorities of Russians, Kurds, Azerbaijanis and Iranians present as well. However, with the breakout of the Nagorno-Karabakh War from 1988 to 1994, the Azerbaijani minority diminished in the country in what was part of population exchanges between Armenia and Azerbaijan. A big part of the Russian minority also fled the country during the 1990s economic crisis in the country. Today, the population of Yerevan is overwhelmingly Armenian. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, due to economic crises, thousands fled Armenia, mostly to Russia, North America and Europe. The population of Yerevan fell from 1,250,000 in 1989 to 1,103,488 in 2001 and to 1,091,235 in 2003. However, the population of Yerevan has been increasing since. In 2007, the capital had 1,107,800 inhabitants. Yerevancies in general use the Yerevan dialect, an Eastern Armenian dialect most probably formed during the 13th century. It is currently spoken in and around Yerevan, including the towns of Vagarshapat and Ashterik. Classical Armenian grabar words compose significant part of the dialect's vocabulary. Throughout the history, it was influenced by several languages, especially Russian and Persian and loanwords have significant presence in it today. It is currently the most widespread Armenian dialect. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ethnic groups. Yerevan was inhabited first by Armenians and remained homogeneous until the 15th century. The population of the Erevan fortress, founded in the 1580s, was mainly composed of Muslim soldiers, estimated 2 to 3000. The city itself was mainly populated by Armenians. French traveller Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, who visited Yerevan possibly up to six times between 1631 and 1668, states that the city is exclusively populated by Armenians. During the 1720s Ottoman-Persian War its absolute majority were Armenians. The demographics of the region changed because of a series of wars between the Ottoman Empire, Iran and Russia. By the early 19th century, Yerevan had a Muslim majority. Until the Sovietization of Armenia, Yerevan was a multicultural city, mainly with Armenian and Caucasian Tatar nowadays Azerbaijanis population. After the Armenian Genocide, many refugees from what Armenians call Western Armenia nowadays Turkey, then Ottoman Empire escaped to Eastern Armenia. In 1919, about 75,000 Armenian refugees from the Ottoman Empire arrived in Yerevan, mostly from the Vasprakhan region city of Van and surroundings. A significant part of these refugees died of typhus and other diseases. From 1921 to 1936, about 42,000 ethnic Armenians from Iraq, Turkey, Iran, Greece, Syria, France, Bulgaria, etc., came to Soviet Armenia, with most of them settling in Yerevan. The second wave of repatriation occurred from 1946 to 1948, when about 100,000 ethnic Armenians from Iran, Syria, Lebanon, Greece, Bulgaria, Romania, Cyprus, Palestine, Iraq, Egypt, France, United States etc. came to Soviet Armenia, again most of whom settled in Yerevan. 
Thus, the ethnic makeup of Yerevan became more monoethnic during the first three decades in the Soviet Union. In the late 1980s and the early 1990s, the remaining 2,000 Azeris left the city, because of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Religion Armenian Apostolic Church Armenian Apostolic Christianity is the predominant religion in Armenia. The 5th century St. Paul and Peter Church demolished in November 1930 by the Soviets, was among the earliest churches ever built in Erebuni Yerevan. Many of the ancient Armenian and medieval churches of the city were destroyed by the Soviets in the 1930s during the Great Purge. The regulating body of the Armenian Church in Yerevan is the Araration Pontifical Diocese, with the Serp Sarkis Cathedral being the seat of the diocese. It is the largest diocese of the Armenian Church and one of the oldest dioceses in the world, covering the city of Yerevan and the Ararat province of Armenia. Yerevan is currently home to the largest Armenian church in the world, the Cathedral of St. Gregory the Illuminator. It was consecrated in 2001, during the 1700th anniversary of the establishment of the Armenian Church and the adoption of Christianity as the national religion in Armenia. As of 2017, Yerevan has 17 active Armenian churches as well as four chapels. <inaudible> Russian Orthodox Church After the capture of Yerevan by the Russians as a result of the Russo-Persian War of 1826–28, many Russian Orthodox churches were built in the city under the orders of the Russian commander General Ivan Paskovich. The St. Nikolai Cathedral opened during the second half of the 19th century, was the largest Russian church in the city. The Church of the Intercession of the Holy Mother of God was opened in 1916 in Kanakar Zaitun, however, most of the churches were either closed or demolished by the Soviets during the 1930s. The St. Nikolai Cathedral was entirely destroyed in 1931, while the Church of the Intercession of the Holy Mother of God was closed and converted first into a warehouse and later into a club for the military personnel. Religious services resumed in the church it in 1991, and in 2004 a cupola and a belfry were added to the building. In 2010, the groundbreaking ceremony of the new Holy Cross Russian Orthodox Church took place with the presence of Patriarch Kirill I of Moscow. The church was eventually consecrated on 7 October 2017, with the presence of Catholicos Karakin II, Russian bishops and the church benefactor Era Abramian. Other religions According to Ivan Chopin, there were eight mosques in Yerevan in the middle of the 19th century. The 18th-century Blue Mosque of Yerevan was restored and reopened in the 1990s, with Iranian funding, and is currently the only active mosque in Armenia, mainly serving the Iranian Shia visitors. Yerevan is home to tiny Yazidi, Molokan, Neo-Pagan, Baha'i and Jewish communities, with the Jewish community being represented by the Jewish Council of Armenia. A variety of non-Trinitarian communities considered as dangerous sects by the state-sponsored Armenian Apostolic Church are also found in the city, including Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Seventh-day Adventists and Word of Life. <laughs> <laughs> Health and medical care Medical services in Armenia except from maternity are not subsidized by the government. However, the government annually allocates a certain amount from the state budget for the medical needs of the socially vulnerable groups. Yerevan is a major healthcare and medical service center in the region. Several hospitals of Yerevan refurbished with modern technologies, provide health care and medical researches, such as Shengavit Medical Center, Araboni Medical Center, Izmirlian Medical Center, St. Gregory the Illuminator Medical Center, Nork Marish Medical Center, Armenia Republican Medical Center, Astik Medical Center, Armenian American Wellness Center, and Makatar Heratsi Hospital Complex of the Yerevan State Medical University. The municipality runs 39 polyclinics, medical centers throughout the city. The Research Center of Maternal and Child Health Protection is operating in Yerevan since 1937, while the Armenicum Clinical Center was opened in 1999, where researches are conducted mainly about infectious diseases and associated researches, including HIV, immunodeficiency and hepatitis. 
The Likver Pharmaceuticals factory operating since 1991 in Yerevan, is currently the largest medicines manufacturer of Armenia. Culture Museums <culture> 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 Yerevan is home to a large number of museums, art galleries and libraries. The most prominent of these are the National Gallery of Armenia, the History Museum of Armenia, the Kafasian Museum of Art, the Matenadaran Library of Ancient Manuscripts, and the Armenian Genocide Museum of Cisarnakabard Complex. Founded in 1921, the National Gallery of Armenia and the History Museum of Armenia are the principal museums of city. In addition to having a permanent exposition of works of Armenian painters, the gallery houses a collection of paintings, drawings and sculptures issued from German, American, Austrian, Belgian, Spanish, French, Hungarian, Italian, Dutch, Russian and Swiss artists. It usually hosts temporary expositions. The Armenian Genocide Museum is found at the foot of Cisernakabard Memorial and features numerous eyewitness accounts, texts and photographs from the time. It comprises a memorial stone made of three parts, the latter of which is dedicated to the intellectual and political figures who, as the museum's site says, raised their protest against the genocide committed against the Armenians by the Turks. Among them there are Armin T. Wegner, Hedvig Bull, Henry Morgenthau Sr., Franz Werfel, Johannes Lepsius, James Bryce, Anatole France, Giacomo Gorini, Benedict XV, Fritjof Nansen, and others. Kafasian Museum of Art within the Cascade Complex, is an art center opened on November 7, 2009. It showcases a massive collection glass artwork, particularly the works of the Czech artists Stanislav Lebensky and Jaroslava Brychtova. The front gardens showcase sculptures from Gerard L. Kafasian's collection. The Arabuni Museum founded in 1968, is an archaeological museum housing Urartian artifacts found during excavations at the Arabuni Fortress. The Yerevan History Museum and the Armenian Revolutionary Federation History Museum are among the prominent museums that feature the history of Yerevan and the First Republic of Armenia respectively. The military museum within the Mother Armenia complex is about the participation of Armenian soldiers in World War II and Nagorno-Karabakh War. The city is also home to a large number of art museums. Sergei Parijanov Museum opened in 1988 is dedicated to Sergei Parijanov's art works in cinema and painting. Komitas Museum opened in 2015, is a musical art museum devoted to the renowned Armenian composer Komitas. Cherents Museum of Literature and Arts opened in 1921, Modern Art Museum of Yerevan opened in 1972, and the Middle East Art Museum opened in 1993, are also among the notable Arte museums of the city. Biographical museums are also common in Yerevan. Many renowned Armenian poets, painters, and musicians are honored with house museums in their memory, such as poet Hovenis Tumanyan, composer Aram Kachaturian, painter Martiros Sarian, novelist Kachatur Abovian, and French Armenian singer Charles Aznavour. Recently, many museums of science and technology have opened in Yerevan, such as the Museum of Armenian Medicine 1999, the Space Museum of Yerevan 2001, Museum of Science and Technology 2008, Museum of Communications 2012, and the Little Einstein Interactive Science Museum 2016. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Libraries. The National Library of Armenia located on Tarian Street of Yerevan, is the public library of the city and the entire republic. It was founded in 1832 and is operating in its current building since 1939. Another National Library of Yerevan is the Kinko Aper Children's Library, founded in 1933. Other major public libraries include the Avatik Asahakian Central Library founded in 1935, the Republican Library of Medical Sciences founded in 1939, the Library of Science and Technology founded in 1957, and the Musical Library founded in 1965. In addition, each administrative district of Yerevan has its own public library usually more than one library. The Matenadaran is a library museum and a research center, regrouping 17,000 ancient manuscripts and several Bibles from the Middle Ages. Its archives hold a rich collection of valuable ancient Armenian, ancient Greek, Aramaic, Assyrian, Hebrew, Latin, Middle and modern Persian manuscripts. 
It is located on Mashtots Avenue at Central Yerevan. On 6 June 2010, Yerevan was named as the 2012 World Book Capital by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO. The Armenian capital was chosen for the quality and variety of the program it presented to the Selection Committee, which met at UNESCO's headquarters in Paris on 2 July 2010. The National Archives of Armenia founded in 1923, is a scientific research center and depository, with a collection of around 3.5 million units of valuable documents. Art Yerevan is one of the historic centers of traditional Armenian carpet. Various rug fragments have been excavated in areas around Yerevan dating back to the 7th century BC or earlier. The tradition was further developed from the 16th century when Yerevan became the central city of Persian Armenia. However, carpet manufacturing in the city was greatly enriched with the flock of Western Armenian migrants from the Ottoman Empire throughout the 19th century, and the arrival of Armenian refugees escaping the genocide in the early 20th century. Currently, the city is home to the Arm Carpet Factory opened in 1924, as well as the Tufenkian Handmade Carpets since 1994, and Megarian Handmade Carpets since 2000. The Yerevan Vernissage Open Air Exhibition Market formed in the late 1980s on Aram Street, features a large collection of different types of traditional Armenian handmade artworks, especially woodwork sculptures, rugs and carpets. On the other hand, the Saryan Park located near the Opera House, is famous for being a permanent venue where artists exhibit their paintings. The Armenian Center for Contemporary Experimental Art founded in 1992 in Yerevan, is a creativity center helping to exchange experience between professional artists in an appropriate atmosphere. Music Jazz, classical, folk and traditional music are among several genres that are popular in the city of Yerevan. A large number of ensembles, orchestras and choirs of different types of Armenian and international music are active in the city. The Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra founded in 1925, is one of the oldest musical groups in Yerevan and modern Armenia. The Armenian National Radio Chamber Choir founded in 1929, won the first prize of the Soviet Union in the 1931 competition of choirs among the republics of the Soviet Union. Folk and classical music of Armenia was taught in state-sponsored conservatoires during the Soviet days. The Syat Nova Armenian Folk Song Ensemble was founded in Yerevan in 1938. Currently directed by Tavmas Poghosian, the ensemble performs the works of prominent Armenian gusans such as Syat Nova, Javani, and Sherem. In 1939, the Armenian National Academic Theatre of Opera and Ballet was opened. It is home to the Aram Kachaturian Concert Hall and the Alexander Spendiarian Auditorium of the National Theatre of Opera and Ballet. The Komitas Chamber Music House opened in 1977, is the home of chamber music performers and lovers in Armenia. In 1983, the Karen Demirchian Sports and Concerts Complex was opened. It is currently the largest indoor venue in Armenia. The National Chamber Orchestra of Armenia founded in 1961, Yerevan State Brass Band 1964, Folk Instruments Orchestra of Armenia 1977, Gusans and Folk Song Ensemble of Armenia 1983, Shoghakan Folk Ensemble 1995, Yerevan State Chamber Choir 1996, State Orchestra of Armenian National Instruments 2004, and the Youth State Orchestra of Armenia 2005, are also among the famous musical ensembles of the city city of Yerevan. The Ars Lunga Piano Cello Duo achieved international fame since its foundation in 2009 in Yerevan. Armenian religious music remained liturgical until Komitas introduced polyphony by the end of the 19th century. Starting from the late 1950s, religious music became widely spread when Armenian chants also known as shirakans, were performed by the soprano Lucine Zakarian. The state-run Tagaran Ensemble of Yerevan founded in 1981 and currently directed by Cedric Yurkanian, also performs ritual and ancient Armenian music. Jazz is also among the popular genres in Yerevan. The first jazz band in Yerevan was founded in 1936. Currently, many jazz and ethno-jazz bands are active in Yerevan such as Time Report, Art Voices, and Nuance Jazz Band. 
The Malkas Jazz Club founded by renowned artist Levon Malkashin, is among the most popular clubs in the city. The Yerevan Jazz Fest is an annual jazz festival taking place every autumn since 2015, organized by the Armenian Jazz Association with the support of the Yerevan Municipality. Armenian rock has been originated in Yerevan in the mid-1960s, mainly through Arthur Meskian and his band Arakulner Disciples. In the early 1970s, there were a range of professional bands in Yerevan strong enough to compete with their Soviet counterparts. In post-Soviet Armenia, an Armenian progressive rock scene has been developed in Yerevan, mainly through Vahan Artsruni, the Oksenim Rock Band, and the Dorians Band. The Armenian Navy Band founded by Arto Tunkboyachian in 1998 is also famous for jazz, avant-garde and folk music. Reggae is also becoming popular in Yerevan mainly through the Reincarnation Musical Band. The Kafasian Center for the Arts is known for its regularly programmed events including the Kafasian Classical Music Series on the first Wednesday of each month, and the Music Cascade series of jazz, pop and rock music live concerts performed every Friday and Saturday. Open air concerts are frequently held in curtain location in Yerevan during summer, such as the Kafasian Sculpture Garden on Tamanyan Street, the Freedom Square near the Opera House, the Republic Square, etc. The famous Kohar Symphony Orchestra and Choir occasionally performs open air concerts in the city. Topic: <laughs> Dance. Traditional dancing is very popular among Armenians. During the cool summertime of the Yerevan city, it is very common to find people dancing in groups at the Northern Avenue or the Tamanyan Street near the Cascade. Professional dance groups were formed in Yerevan during the Soviet days. The first group was the Armenian Folk Music and Dance Ensemble founded in 1938 by Tatul Altunyan. It was followed by the State Dance Ensemble of Armenia in 1958. In 1963, the Bird Dance Ensemble was formed. The Barikamutian State Dance Ensemble of Armenia was founded in 1987 by Norer Morabian. The Karen Traditional Song and Dance Ensemble founded in 2001 by Gagak Janosian is known for reviving and performing the ancient Armenian dances of the historical regions of the Armenian highland, such as Hamshan, Mush, Sasan, Karen, etc. Topic theater Yerevan is home to many theater groups, mainly operating under the support of the Ministry of Culture. Theater halls in the city organize several shows and performances throughout the year. Most prominent state-run theaters of Yerevan are the Sundukyan State Academic Theater, Paranyan Musical Comedy Theater, Stanislavsky Russian Theater, Harachia Gaplanyan Drama Theater, and the SO's Sarkisyan Hamazgayan State Theater. The Edgar Elbakyan Theater of Drama and Comedy is among the prominent theaters run by the private sector. Yerevan is also home to several specialized theaters such as the Tumanyan Puppet Theater, Yerevan State Pantomime Theater, and the Yerevan State Marionettes Theater. Topic Cinema Cinema in Armenia was born on April 16, 1923, when the Armenian State Committee of Cinema was established upon a decree issued by the Soviet Armenian government. In March 1924, the first Armenian film studio, Armenfilm Armenian, hey film, hey film, Russian, Armenkino, Armenkino, was opened in Yerevan, starting with a documentary film called Soviet Armenia. Namus was the first Armenian silent black and white film, directed by Hamo Beknazarian in 1925, based on a play of Alexander Shervanzade, describing the ill fate of two lovers, who were engaged by their families to each other since childhood, but because of violations of Namus a tradition of honor, the girl was married by her father to another person. The first produced sound film was Pipo directed by Hamo Beknazarian in 1935. Nowadays, Yerevan is home to many movie theaters including the Moscow Cinema, Neri Cinema, Hyaston Cinema, Cinema Star Multiplex Cinemas of the Dalma Garden Mall, and the Kanopark Multiplex Cinemas of Yerevan Mall. Since 2004, the Moscow Cinema hosts annual the Golden Apricot Yerevan International Film Festival. The Reanimania International Animation Film and Comics Art Festival of Yerevan launched in 2005, is also among the popular annual events in the city. Topic festivals In addition to the art festivals, the city organizes many public celebrations that greatly attract the locals as well as the visitors. Vardavar is the most widely celebrated festival among Armenians, having its roots back to the pagan history of Armenia. It is celebrated 98 days 14 weeks after Easter. 
During the day of Vardavar, people from a wide array of ages are allowed to douse strangers with water. It is common to see people pouring buckets of water from balconies on unsuspecting people walking below them. The Swan Lake of the Yerevan Opera is the most popular venue for the Vardavar celebrations. In August 2015, Tarian Cultural Center supported by the Yerevan Municipality has launched its first Armenian traditional clothing festival known as the Yerevan Teras Fest. As one of the ancient winemaking regions, many wine festivals are celebrated in Armenia. Yerevan launched its first annual wine festivals known as the Yerevan Wine Days in May 2016. The Watermelon Fest launched in 2013 is also becoming a popular event in the city. The Yerevan Beer Fest is held annually during the month of August. It was first organized in 2014. Topic media Many public and private TV and radio channels operate in Yerevan. The public TV of Armenia is in service since 1956. It became a satellite television in 1996. Other satellite TVs include the Armenia TV owned by the Pan-Armenian Media Group, Kentron TV owned by Gagak Zarukyan, Shant TV and Shant TV Premium. On the other hand, Yerker Media, Armenia 2, Shaakat TV, Yerevan TV, 21 TV and the TV channels of the Pan-Armenian Media Group are among the most notable local televisions of Yerevan. Notable newspapers published in Yerevan include the daily newspapers of Erevat, AZG, Golos Armeniai and Hayastani Hanrapetatyun. Monuments Historic Many of the structures of Yerevan had been destroyed either during foreign invasions or as a result of the devastating earthquake in 1679. However, some structures have remained moderately intact and were renovated during the following years. Arabuni Fortress, also known as Arin Bird, is the hill where the city of Yerevan was founded in 782 BC by King Argashti I. The remains of other structures from earlier periods are also found in Shengavit. The 4th century chapel of the Holy Mother of God and the 6th century Saranavor church both located in Avon district at the north of Yerevan, are among the oldest surviving Christian structures of the city. Originally a suburb at the north of Yerevan, Avon was eventually absorbed by the city's gradual expansion. The district is also home to the remains of Sir Povenis chapel dating back to the 12-13 th centuries. Katahike Church, a medieval chapel in the center of Yerevan built in 1264, is one of the best preserved churches of the city. Zorovor Serp Astvatsatsan Church is also among the best surviving churches of Yerevan, built 1693-94 right after the devastating earthquake, on the ruins of a medieval church. St. Sarkis Cathedral rebuilt in 1835-42, is the seat of Araration Pontifical Diocese of the Armenian Church. The Blue Mosque or Gok Jaime, built between 1764 and 1768 at the center of the city, is currently the only operating mosque in Armenia. The Red Bridge of Harazdan River is a 17th century structure, built after the 1679 earthquake and later reconstructed in 1830. <inaudible> <inaudible> Contemporary Yerevan Opera Theatre or the Armenian National Academic Opera and Ballet Theatre opened in 1933, is a major landmark in the city along with the Mesrop Mashtots Matenadaran opened in 1959, and Cisernakabard Monument of the Armenian Genocide opened in 1967. Moscow Cinema, opened in 1937 on the site of St. Paul and Peter Church of the 5th century, is an important example of the Soviet-era architecture. In 1959, a monument was erected near the Yerevan railway station dedicated to the legendary Armenian hero David of Sassoon. The monumental statue of Mother Armenia is a female personification of the Armenian nation, erected in 1967, replacing the huge statue of Joseph Stalin in the Victory Park. Komitas Pantheon is a cemetery opened in 1936 where many famous Armenians are buried, while the Yerablur Pantheon, is a military cemetery where over 1,000 Armenian martyrs of the Nagorno-Karabakh War are buried since 1990. Many new notable buildings were constructed after the independence of Armenia such as the Yerevan Cascade, and the St. Gregory Cathedral opened in 2001 to commemorate the 1,700th anniversary of Christianity in Armenia. 
In May 2016, a monumental statue of the prominent Armenian statesman and military leader Garegan Nzhdeh was erected at the center of Yerevan. Transportation Air Yerevan is served by the Zavartnots International Airport, located 12 km 7 miles west of the city centre. It is the primary airport of the country. Inaugurated in 1961 during the Soviet era, Zavartnots Airport was renovated for the first time in 1985 and a second time in 2002 in order to adapt to international norms. It went through a facelift starting in 2004 with the construction of a new terminal. The first phase of the construction ended in September 2006 with the opening of the arrivals zone. A second section designated for departures was inaugurated in May 2007. The departure terminal is anticipated, October 2011 housing state-of-the-art facilities and technology. This will make Yerevan Zavartnots International Airport, the largest, busiest and most modern airport in the entire Caucasus. Currently there are no national airlines operating in Armenia. The entire project costs more than $100 million USD. A second airport, Arabuni Airport, is located just south of the city. Since the independence, Arabuni is mainly used for military or private flights. The Armenian Air Force has equally installed its base there and there are several MiG-29 stationed on Arabuni's tarmac. Topic: <laughs> City buses, public vans and trolleybus. Public transport in Yerevan is heavily privatized and mostly handled by around 60 private operators. As of May 2017, 39 city bus lines are being operated throughout Yerevan. These lines mostly consist of about 425 Bogdan, Higer City bus and Hyundai County buses. However, the market share these buses in public transit is only about 39.1%. But the 50.4% of public transit is still served by public vans, locally known as Marshrutka. These are about 1210 Russian-made gazelle vans with 13 seats, that operate same way as buses, having 79 different lines with certain routes and same stops. According to Yerevan Municipality Office, in future, marshrutkas should be replaced by ordinary larger buses. Despite having about 13 seats, the limit of passengers is not controlled, so usually these vans carry many more people who stand inside. The Yerevan trolleybus system has been operating since 1949. Some old Soviet-era trolleybuses have been replaced with comparably new ones. As of May 2017, only five trolleybus lines are in operation 2.6% share, with around 45 units in service. The trolleybus system is owned and operated by the municipality. The tram network that operated in Yerevan since 1906 was decommissioned in January 2004. Its operation had a cost 2.4 times higher than the generated profits, which pushed the municipality to shut down the network, despite a last-ditch effort to save it towards the end of 2003. Since the closure, the rails have been dismantled and sold. Due to being dispersed among dozens of private operators, the transportation is barely regulated, with only trip fee as being a subject of regulation. Thus, the quality of vehicles is often inadequate, with no certain regulations for safety. Unlike the majority of world capitals, there is no established ticketing system in Yerevan's public transportation. Passengers need to pay the money directly to the driver when getting out of the vehicle. The fare being one of the few things that is regulated is fixed and controlled by authorities. A one-way trip costs AMD 100 around 21 cents for all buses and public vans, while it is AMD 50 for trolleybuses. The central station in Nor Kilikia neighborhood serves as bus terminal for intercity transport, serving outbound routes towards practically all the cities of Armenia as well as abroad, notably Tbilisi and Tabriz. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Underground. The Yerevan Metro, named after Karen Demirchian, Armenian, Karen Demirciani Anvan Irawani Metropolitan Karen Karen Diamirciani Anvan Yerevani Metropolitan Karen, is a rapid transit system that serves the capital city since 1981. It has a single line of 12.1 kilometers (7.5 miles) length, with 10 active stations and 45 units in service. 
The interiors of the stations resemble that of the former Western Soviet nations, with chandeliers hanging from the corridors. The metro stations had most of their names changed after the collapse of the Soviet Union and the independence of the Republic of Armenia. A northeastern extension of the line with two new stations is currently being developed. The construction of the first station and of the 1 km .62 mile tunnel linking it to the rest of the network will cost US$18 million. The time of the end of the project has not yet been defined. Another long-term project is the construction of two new lines, but these have been suspended due to lack of finance. The system transports more than 60,000 people on a daily basis. Railway Yerevan has a single central train station several train stations of suburbs have not been used since 1990 that is connected to the metro via the Sasunsi Davit station. The train station is made in Soviet-style architecture with its long point on the building roof, representing the symbols of communism, red star, hammer and sickle. Due to the Turkish and Azerbaijani blockades of Armenia, there is only one international train that passes by once every two days, with neighboring Georgia being its destination. For example, for a sum of 9,000 to 18,000 dram, it is possible to take the night train to the Georgian capital, Tbilisi. This train then continues to its destination of Batumi, on the shores of the Black Sea in the summer season. The only railway that goes to Iran to the south passes by the closed border of Nakhchivan. For this reason, there are no trains that go south from Yerevan. A construction project on a new railway line connecting Armenia and Iran directly is currently being studied. During the first decade of the 21st century, the South Caucasus Railway CJSC which is the current operator of the railway system in Armenia announced its readiness to put the Yerevan Gumri Cars railway line in service in case the Armenian-Turkish protocols are ratified and the opening of the borders between the two countries is achieved. As of July 2017, the following railway trips are scheduled from and to Yerevan. Yerevan Tbilisi Batumi Yerevan, with a daily trip operating since June 15, 2017, in coordination with the Georgian Railways. Yerevan Gumri Yerevan, with three daily trips operating since June 15, 2017. Yerevan Yerisk Yerevan, with a daily trip operating since July 12, 2014. Yerevan Iraks Yerevan, with a daily trip. Yerevan Shorza Yerevan, with weekend trips. The Yerevan Ararat Yerevan route is temporarily not in operation, while the Yerevan Tbilisi Yerevan route will operate starting from October 2, 2017. Topic. Taxi Armenia is among the top 10 safest countries where one can wander around and go home alone safely at night. Yerevan prides itself on having connections 24-7 as taxis are available at any time of the day or night. Taxi service companies are cover the entire city in addition to many online taxi service providers, including the Russian Yandex, Taxi. <laughs> economy and services <laughs> <laughs> Industry As of 2013, the share of Yerevan in the annual total industrial product of Armenia is 41%. The industry of Yerevan is quite diversified including chemicals, primary metals and steel products, machinery, rubber products, plastics, rugs and carpets, textiles, clothing and footwear, jewelry, wood products and furniture, building materials and stone processing, alcoholic beverages, mineral water, dairy product and processed food. Even though the economic crisis of the 90s ravaged the industry of the country, several factories remain always in service, notably in the petrochemical and the aluminium sectors. Armenian beverages, especially Armenian cognac and beer, have a worldwide fame. Hence, Yerevan is home to many leading enterprises of Armenia and the Caucasus for the production of alcoholic beverages, such as the Yerevan Ararat Brandy Factory, Yerevan Brandy Company, Yerevan Champagne Wines Factory. Beer of Yerevan, Kilikia Beer Brewery, Armco Brandy Factory, Procyon Brandy Factory, and Estafian Wine Brandy Factory. The two tobacco producers in Yerevan are the Sigaron and Grand Tabak companies. 
Carpet industry in Armenia has a deeply rooted history with ancient traditions, therefore, carpet production is rather developed in Yerevan with three major factories that also produce handmade rugs. The Megarian Carpet factory is the leading in this sector. Other major plants in the city include the Nirit chemical and rubber plant, Rusal Arminal Aluminum Foil Mill, Grand Candy, Armenian Canadian Confectionery Manufacturers, Arcolad. Chocolate Factory, Mariana, Factory for Dairy Products, Talgrig Group, for Wheat and Flour Products, Shant, Ice Cream Factory, Crown Chemicals, for Paints, ATMC, Travertine Mining Company, Yerevan Watch Factory, AWI Watches, Yerevan Jewelry Plant, and the Mineral Water Factories of Arzni, Sil, and Diligen Frolova. Food products include processed meat, all types of canneries, wheat and flour, sweets and chocolate, dried fruits, soft drinks and beverages. Building materials mainly include travertine, crushed stones, asphalt and asphalt concrete. Topic. Finance and banking As an attractive outsourcing location for Western European, Russian and American multinationals, Yerevan headquarters many international companies. It is Armenia's financial hub, being home to the Central Bank of Armenia, the Armenian Stock Exchange Nasdaq OMX Armenia, as well as the majority of the country's largest commercial banks. As of 2013, the city dominates over 85% of the annual total services in Armenia, as well as over 84% of the annual total retail trade. Many subsidiaries of Russian service companies and banks operate in Yerevan, including Gazprom, Ingo Armenia, Rosgostrek and VTB Bank. The ACBA Credit Agricole is a subsidiary of the French Credit Agricole, while the HSBC Bank Armenia is also operating in Yerevan. Topic. Construction The construction sector has experienced a significant growth during the first decade of the 21st century. Starting from 2000, Yerevan has witnessed a massive construction boom, funded mostly by Armenian millionaires from Russia and the United States, with an extensive and controversial redevelopment process in which many 18th and 19th century buildings have been demolished and replaced with new buildings. This growth was coupled with a significant increase in real estate prices. Many major construction projects has been conducted in Yerevan, such as the Northern Avenue and the rehabilitation of Old Yerevan on Aram Street. The Northern Avenue is completed and was opened in 2007, while the Old Yerevan project is still under development. In the past few years, the city center has also witnessed major road reconstruction, as well as the renovation of the Republic Square, funded by the American-Armenian billionaire Kirk Kerkorian. On the other hand, the Argentina-based Armenian businessman Eduardo Yernekian took over the airport, while the Cascade Development Project was funded by the U.S.-based Armenian millionaire Gerard L. Kafajan. However, the sector has significantly dropped by the end of the first decade of the 21st century, as a result of the global real estate crisis in 2007-09. In 2013, Yerevan dominated over 58% of the annual total construction sector of Armenia. In February 2017, the Urban Development Committee of the government revealed its plans for the upcoming major construction projects in the city. With a total cost of $300 million, a new business district will rise at the center of the city, to replace the current Ferdowski shopping area. The committee has also announced the construction of NOY Ethnographic Residential District at the western vicinity of Kentron District, with an approximate cost of $100 million. Topic. Energy The location of the city on the shores of Harazdan River has enabled the production of hydroelectricity. As part of the Seven Harazdan Cascade, three hydroelectric power plants are established within the administrative territory of Yerevan, Kanakar HPP, Yerevan 1 HPP, and Yerevan 3 HPP. The entire plant was privatized in 2003, and is currently owned by Rus Hydro. The city is also home to the Yerevan Thermal Power Plant, a unique facility in the region for its quality and high technology, situated in the southern part of the city. 
Originally opened in 1961, a modern plant was built in 2007, furnished with a new gas steam combined cycled turbine, to generate electric power. In March 2017, the construction of a new thermal power plant was launched with an initial investment of $258 million and an envisaged capacity of 250 megawatts. The power station will be in service in 2019. Topic. Telecommunication and postal services As of 2017, Armenia has three mobile phone service providers Armenia Telephone Company's Beeline, currently owned by Vimplecom. Based in Yerevan, the company is operating since 1995. K Telecom's Vicacel MTS, founded in 2004 in Yerevan, and currently owned by MTS. UCOM, founded as an internet service provider in 2009 in Yerevan. It replaced Orange Armenia as the third mobile network provider in the country in December 2015. In addition to the mobile network providers, many other small and middle size companies are also involved in internet services. Access to the internet in Armenia is largely unfettered. However, according to Article 11 of the Law of the Republic of Armenia on Police, law enforcement has the right to block content to prevent criminal activity. Haypost is the official national postal operator of Armenia. Based in Yerevan, it currently operates through 900 postal offices across Armenia. Topic: <laughs> Tourism and nightlife. Tourism in Armenia is developing year by year and the capital city of Yerevan is one of the major tourist destinations. The city has a majority of luxury hotels, modern restaurants, bars, pubs and nightclubs. Zavartnots Airport has also conducted renovation projects with the growing number of tourists visiting the country. Numerous places in Yerevan are attractive for tourists, such as the dancing fountains of the Republic Square, the State Opera House, the Cascade Complex, the ruins of the Urartian city of Arabuni the historical site of Karmir Blur etc. The largest hotel of the city is the Ani Plaza Hotel. The Armenia Marriott Hotel is located at the Republic Square at the center of Yerevan, while the Radisson Blue Hotel is located near the Victory Park. Other major chains operating in central Yerevan include the Grand Hotel Yerevan of the Small Luxury Hotels of the World, the Best Western Congress Hotel, the Doubletree by Hilton, the Hyatt Place, the Ibis Yerevan Center, and the Alexander, a luxury collection hotel of Marriott International. The location of Yerevan itself, is an inspiring factor for the foreigners to visit the city in order to enjoy the view of the biblical Mount of Ararat, as the city lies on the feet of the mountain forming the shape of a Roman amphitheater. There are many historical sites, churches and citadels in areas and regions surrounding the city of Yerevan, such as Garni Temple, Zavartnots Cathedral, the monasteries of Kor Varap and Gegherd, etc. Being among the top ten safest cities in the world, Yerevan has an extensive nightlife scene with a variety of nightclubs, live venues, pedestrian zones, street cafes, jazz cafes, tea houses, casinos, pubs, karaoke clubs and restaurants. Casino Shangri La and Faron Complex are among the largest leisure and entertainment centers of the city. Many world famous music stars, Russian music celebrities, as well as Armenian singers from diaspora, occasionally perform in concerts in Yerevan. The Yerevan Zoo founded in 1940, the Yerevan Circus opened in 1956, and the Yerevan Water World opened in 2001, are among the popular entertaining centers in the city. The northern avenue that connects the Opera House with Abovian Street is a popular pedestrian zone in Yerevan with modern residential buildings, business centers, restaurants, bars and cafes. Another popular landmarks is the Yerevan Cascade and the Cafasian Sculpture Garden on Tamanyan Street with its pedestrian zone, featuring many coffee shops, bars, restaurants, and pubs at the sidewalks. The Cafasian Center for the Arts regularly organizes art events throughout the year, including classical music series, traditional folk dance events, and live concerts of jazz, pop and rock music. As of 2017, Yerevan has three shopping malls, Dalma Garden Mall opened in October 2012, followed by Yerevan Mall in February 2014, and Rasia Mall in March 2016. Topic. Education Yerevan is a major educational center in the region. 
As of 2017, the city is home to more than 250 schools, of which about 210 are state-owned, with three-quarters of them run by the municipality and the rest run by the Ministry of Education. The rest of the schools about 40 are privately owned. The municipality also runs 160 kindergartens throughout the city, the QSI International School, École Française Internationale and Armenie, AYB School, Mkhitar Sebastatsi Educational Complex and Koran and Shushanig Avidijan School are among the prominent international or private schools in Yerevan. As of 2017, around 70 higher education institutions are accredited and licensed to operate in the Republic of Armenia. Yerevan is home to about 55 institutions, of which 15 are state-owned, 10 are interstate, 5 are international private, 3 are for military and police, and the rest are local private universities. Yerevan State University, American University of Armenia, Russian Armenian Slavonic University, Yerevan State Medical University and Armenian State Pedagogical University are the top-rated universities of Armenia and among the top-rated in the region. Science and research Under the Soviet rule, Yerevan has turned into a major center for science and research. The Armenian National Academy of Sciences is the pioneer of scientific research in Armenia. It was founded in 1943 as the Armenian branch of the Soviet Academy of Sciences to become the primary body that conducts research and coordinates activities in the fields of science in Armenia. It has many divisions, including mathematical and technical sciences, physics and astrophysics, natural sciences, chemistry and earth sciences, armonology and social sciences. After the independence, many new research centers were opened in the city, such as the Candle Synchrotron Research Institute 2010, Tumo Center for Creative Technologies 2011, and Nurses Met's Medical Research and Education Center 2013. Topic: Sport Football Football is the most played and popular sport in Yerevan and the entire country. As of 2018, the city has six football clubs competing in the Armenian Premier League as well as three clubs in the Armenian First League. Harazdan Stadium of Yerevan is the largest sports venue of Armenia. It is the primary home ground of the Armenian football team along with the Vazgan Sarkisyan Republican Stadium. The Football Academy of Yerevan, operated by the Football Federation of Armenia, is an up to date training academy complex. Opened in 2010, the municipality has opened 126 mini football pitches within the yards of the Yerevan neighborhoods. It is envisaged to rise the number up to 131 by the end of 2017. Chess Armenia has always excelled in chess with its players being very often among the highest ranked and decorated. The headquarters of the Chess Federation of Armenia is located in the Tigran Petrosian Chess House of Yerevan. The city is home to a large number of chess teams and training schools. In 1996, despite the severe economic conditions in the country, Yerevan hosted the 32nd Chess Olympiad. In 2006, the four members from Yerevan of the Armenian chess team won the 37th Chess Olympiad in Turin and repeated the feat at the 38th Chess Olympiad in Dresden. Armenian won the Chess Olympiad for the third time in 2012 in Istanbul. The Yerevan-born leader of the chess national team, Levan Aronian, is one of the top chess players in the world. Topic. Futsal Futsal is very popular in Armenia. Many companies as well as universities have their own teams who participate in the Armenian Futsal Premier League. Three out of the eight teams of the championship are based in Yerevan, including, Futsal Club Leo, Sharbak and Armenia Travel. The Mika Sports Arena is the home of the Armenia national futsal team as well as the futsal teams of the domestic competition. Basketball. Despite the popularity of basketball in Armenia, the country's national team only recently made headlines internationally through winning the 2016 FIBA European Championship for small countries. However, the country's best players are diaspora Armenians, mainly from the United States and Russia. 
The first ever season of the professional domestic basketball competition of Armenia, known as Armenia Basketball League A, was launched in October 2017 with seven participating teams. Yerevan is represented by four clubs, Engineer Yerevan, FEMA Basketball, BC Grand Sport and BC Urartu. Tennis Tennis is also among the popular sports in Yerevan. Several tennis clubs operate in the city, with many of them founded during the Soviet days. In Court Tennis Club founded in 1974 is the largest in the city, with many indoor and outdoor courts. Ararat Tennis Club founded in 1990, is also among the prominent clubs in the city. Tennis clubs are also found within the Yerevan State Sports College of Olympic Reserve since 1971, and the Yerevan Football Academy since 2010. Sargas Sargjan and Ani Amirafian are the most successful tennis players of Armenia. Artistic gymnastics Armenia has produced many Olympic champions in artistic gymnastics during the Soviet days, such as Harant Shahinyan, Albert Azarian and Eduard Azarian. The success of the Armenian gymnasts in the Olympic competitions has greatly contributed in the popularity of the sport. Thus, many prominent competitors represent the country in the European and World Championships, including Artur Davtian and Haritian Merdinian. Yerevan has many state-owned schools of artistic gymnastics, including the Albert Azarian School opened in 1964 and the Harant Chahinyan School opened in 1965. Other sports Karen Demirchian Sports and Concerts Complex is the largest indoor arena in the city and the entire country. It is mostly used for indoor sport events, including ice hockey and figure skating shows. On the other hand, Dinamo and Mika indoor arenas are the regular venues for domestic and regional competitions of basketball, volleyball, handball, and futsal. Armenia Sports Union, Spartak Sports Union between 1935 and 1999, is a sports society mainly involved in individual Olympic sports, including boxing, weightlifting, athletics, wrestling, taekwondo, table tennis, etc. The Yerevan State Sports College of Olympic Reserve is a large sports and educational complex located in the Malaysia Sebastia district of the city. It was founded in 1971, and is home to individual as well as team sports schools, such as wrestling, boxing, weightlifting, judo, athletics, acrobatic gymnastics, artistic gymnastics, swimming, table tennis, cycling, basketball, volleyball, and handball. In September 2015, the new Olympic training complex of Yerevan, locally known as Olympaven, was opened in Davtashan district. It is a state-of-the-art sports complex, with training facilities for most Olympic individual and team sports, as well as water sports. It is also home to the Anti-Doping Medical Center and a hotel designated to accommodate more than 300 athletes. Equestrian sport was introduced to Armenia in 1953. The Hovik Hyrapetian Equestrian Center opened in 2001, occupies an area of 85 hectares at the southern Shengavit district of Yerevan. It is the center of equestrian sport and horse racing in Armenia. Golf has been introduced to the citizens of Yerevan in 1999, with the foundation of the Ararat Valley Country Club in the Vahakni neighborhood of Ajapnyak district. It is the first ever golf course opened in Armenia as well as the Transcaucasian region. Arena Bowling and Billiards Club is an up to date sports and leisure center opened in 2004 and located on Mashtots Avenue in central Yerevan. Cycling as a sport is becoming popular among the young generation. The Yerevan Velodrome is an outdoor track cycling venue with international standard, opened in 2011 to replace the old venue of the Soviet days. Edgar Stepanian of Armenia became champion of the scratch race in the 2015 Junior UEC European Track Championships. In an attempt to promote figure skating and ice hockey in Armenia, the Irina Rodnina Figure Skating Center was opened in Yerevan in December 2015. Recently, MMA has gained massive popularity in Armenia, being promoted by Armfighting Professional Federation based in Yerevan. 
It was founded in 2005 by Haik Gukazyan and currently runs several branches throughout the provinces of Armenia and Artsakh with more than 2,000 athletes. With the increased interest in healthy lifestyle and fitness, many large and modern training complexes with indoor and outdoor swimming pools have recently been opened in the city, such as the David Hambardzimian Swimming and Diving Olympic School, Orange Fitness Premium Club, DDD Sports Complex, Aqua Land Sports Complex, Gold's Gym, Grand Sport Complex, Reebok Sports. Sports Club, and Multi-Wellness Sport and Health Center. International relations The city of Yerevan is member of many international organizations, the International Assembly of CIS Countries Capitals and Big Cities MAG, the Black Sea Capitals Association BSCA, the International Association of Francophone Mayors AIMF, the Organization of World Heritage Cities OWHC, the International Association of Large-Scale Communities, and the International Urban Community Lighting Association Lucy. Twin towns, sister cities As of March 2017, Yerevan is twinned with 24 cities Partnerships As of March 2017, Yerevan has a partnership agreement with 25 cities, administrative regions Notable natives List of notable persons born in Yerevan, people from Yerevan Topic. Panorama view Topic. See also Yerevan City Council Yerevani surname Topic. Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography The Capitals of Armenia, Sergei Vardanyan, Apollo 1995, ISBN 5-8079-0778-7 My Yerevan, G. Zakoyan, M. Savaslian, V. Navasardian, Aknalis 2001, ISBN 9993090204. Yerevan at Geonet Names Server Evlia Celebi 1834. Description of the Town of Erevan. Narrative of Travels in Europe, Asia, and Africa, in the 17th Century, 2. Translated by Joseph von Hammerperg Stahl. London, Oriental Translation Fund. Topic. External links Yerevan Municipality Yerevan History Museum My Yerevan Portal About Yerevan and more Yerevan article on Armeniapedia Iyerevan Portal Photos of Yerevan sites <laughs>